The radical cleric Anjem Chowdhury has been charged with inviting support for so-called Islamic State. The offence allegedly took place between June 2014 and March this year. He's been detained in custody and will appear in court this afternoon. Our Home Affairs correspondent Dominic Casciani is with me. And this has only emerged really in the last few minutes, Dominic. What, yes, what in the last know? few minutes. But this, this has been um, a case which has been going on for some time because Anjem Chowdhury and other close confidants of his were arrested last summer and they were subsequently bailed uh, following an investigation into alleged membership of a banned terrorist group at the time. And indeed, at the time of his, his release, he told the BBC that he believed his, his, his arrest had been politically motivated because of his trenchant views and that he hadn't actually committed a criminal act. Now, the Crown Prosecution Service is alleging that he has broken the law and they've charged him under something called uh, the Terrorism Act 2000 of inviting support for ISIL, also known as ISIS, i.e. the Islamic State as it's also known. These offences allegedly occurred between June uh, uh, 2014 and March 2015. And Sue Hemming, of, who's the head of counterterrorism at the Crown Prosecution Service, she says that following an investigation by the Metropolitan Police, we have today authorised charges against Anjem Chowdhury and another man, Mohammed Mizanur Rahman. We have concluded there is sufficient evidence and it's in the public interest to do so. And it's alleged that they uh, invited support through uh, lectures which were subsequently published online.